Let's solve a system of equations 6x plus 3y is equal to negative 1 and then the second equation is 9x plus 5y is equal to 1. Perhaps the best word for this equation is going to be solving by elimination. Why? Because all the variables has a number in front of them besides the number 1. We have a 6, 3, 9, and 5 right here. So you can pick a variable, either the x or the y to get rid of first doesn't matter. But I will say, let's get rid of x. You can also work with y, but let's focus on the x. What we're going to do is, we have to look for the LCM, the lowest common multiple of 6 and 9. And that's going to be 18. This is my target number. I want to think about how can I make 6x into 18x. Well, 6 goes into 18 three times. So I'm going to multiply the first equation by 3. And then second equation, I have 9x right here. 9 times 4 will be 18. 9 times 2 will be 18. So I'm going to multiply this equation by 2. However, I do not want it to be both positive. I want the sign to be alternate. Since this is already going to be a positive 18x, I would like to multiply by negative 2 throughout the second equation so I can get a negative 18x right here. And now let's see if that's going to work out. Multiply 3 throughout the first equation, 3 times 6x is going to be 18x, 3 times positive 3y is going to be plus 9y, and that's equal to 3 times negative 1, of course that's going to be negative 3. Second equation, negative 2 times 9x, that's negative 18x. Negative 2 times positive 5y, that's minus 10y. And that's equal to negative 2 times 1, that's negative 2. Well, let's see. If I add these two equations together, what am I going to get? The 18x and the negative 18x, they cancel each other out. And 9y minus 10y, it's going to be negative y. And that's going to be negative 3 minus 2, which is going to be negative 5. Negative y is equal to negative 5. What I have to do is divide both sides by negative 1, because you want the y to be positive. And we do have the y to be positive right now. y is going to be negative 5 over negative 1. That's going to be positive 5. We have to take y is equal to positive 5, and then back into these equations. One of these equations will work. Doesn't matter which one you pick. Let me just work with equation number one right here, this one. So, 6x plus 3y is equal to negative one, and we have the y is equal to five. I'm going to plug in the five to this y right here. I will have 6x plus three, and as I said, the y, it's going to be the number that we found right here, which is five. And on the right hand side, we still have equal to negative 1. So look at the equation in black, plugging 5 into the y right here. And now the rest is just work this out. I have 6x, 3 times 5 is plus 15, and that's equal to negative 1. And do the usual thing, that's minus 15 on both sides. Cancel this out. And I will end up with 6x equals to negative 1 minus 15. That should be negative 16 and then I can divide by the number in front of the x on both sides which is 6 so they cancel each other out. On the right hand side focus on these numbers I can reduce this fraction. Let me use 2. 2 goes into 16 8 times. 2 goes into 6 3 times and that's the best that we can do. So what we're saying is x it's going to be negative 8 over 3. I can write that this. And for the answer part, what we're going to do is, we're going to write the answer as the word that pair. Put the x value first, which is negative 8 over 3, comma. The second number is for the y, which is 5. And let me label this to be clear. The first number is x, the second number is y. And this is how we can present your answer.